Welcome back to another video on Tom's Ark. My name's Thomas, I am your host. And today, I decided, because people constantly ask me what I feed my savannah monitors besides rodents. Because in the wild, they don't eat rodents. Oh, what you doing, dude? You know there's food? You want some foods? He's like, open this door and feed me now. So yeah, we're going to... Today, he's going to get some canned grasshoppers and then an egg after they're done with the grasshoppers. That's for both Blue down there and Titan up here, who she never comes out to see me. <coughs> and if you hear me sniffle or cough or anything, I'm fighting a little cold. Just a little one. Nothing too crazy. Godzilla's not going to be in this video just because I fed Godzilla yesterday and... Her belly's a little poop, so I don't want to keep feeding her, feeding her, feeding her, feeding her, feeding her. So today we're just going to focus on feeding Blue. But I'm going to discuss <clears throat> a number of things that I actually feed them. So, one thing actually, perfect, can of snails. I feed them snails, I'll feed them grasshoppers, I'll feed them canned wise, those two. Canned shrimp, canned silkworms, sometimes canned superworms, sometimes canned crickets. The reason I feed the canned crickets, though, is because every time I put large crickets in here, half of them get eaten, the other half get on the floor, and then downstairs, and then out in my room. And it's not fun. Just listen to a cricket at night when trying to sleep and just... Oh, I'm going to kill it. Anyways, so what we're going to do, we've got our dusted cup. We're going to open this canned... Gross hapeos. Oh! Almost sliced my finger off with one hand. Oh! That would have sucked. On camera, too. Just almost sliced my finger. Or I did slice my finger, but not crazy. Um. Give me one second. I'm going to clean my finger up. I'll be right back. All right. Now we're back. I got my fingers all taped up. Um, be very careful with opening this. I would definitely recommend using two hands and keep your focus on this, not on the camera or whatever else. So we're going to put the crickets in there. Got a little bit of Arcadia Calcium Pro with some magnesium in it. Just down right there for a second. Uno scoops. So pull it in there. A little bit of red to calcium with D3. Got my little scoop. Highly recommend if you have a monitor. And it's not in natural sunlight. Don't forget to give them calcium because they need it to build strong bones and build a strong monitor. Now, we'll put that in there. We'll take this, drape her up, and then also, <clears throat> live-wise, what I do feed, I feed superworms. I'll feed hissing roaches. And then two colonies of doobie rushes. They love their doobies. Um, <clears throat> during the breeding season, if there's any any deformed baby reptiles, I do occasionally, not occasionally, rarely, depending on the animal. If it's deformed, like it's breathing through its mouth or whatever, and I know it's not gonna survive, I'll give it to one of the monitors. Because I'd rather have an animal that's healthy versus an animal that's struggling for life. And I know a lot of people would be like, oh, dude, that's mean, blah, blah. In the wild, that would be the first animal to go, to be honest. But, you know. Um, anyways. Hi, Sprunk. So we're going to feed 
blew some grasshoppers. And then also on top of those live feeders, the can feeders, I also do <clears throat> Godzilla will get like millipedes every so often. Not every so often, sorry. Every, let's say like two to three months, I'll give, I'll get millipedes for Godzilla to eat. And then we're going to be getting live grasshoppers this year because I found a source. So Blue will get grasshoppers, Titan will get grasshoppers, Godzilla will get grasshoppers. And then maybe I'll figure out how to breed those. And then that'll be another uh, staple that I can actually have up here. But also hopefully maybe this year, maybe next year, I don't know how it's going to go with the greenhouse building and everything else like that. We might... uh. We might get a, a feeder shed, so to have all the feeders in there. So if I put crickets in there, I won't have to worry about them escaping into the house. Okay, Blue is like, yo, I need food. So enough me rambling. Hey, Bubba's. Would you like a grass of hell? Hey, hey, you want some? You want some? Yo, come on. You drunk? <clears throat> Oh, good boy. Another thing fun to do with them is when they're eating. Come on. Come on. Get them to work for it. I like my uh, makeshift two by four with a piece of wood and a screw comment down below if you like that i don't know why well yeah oh look at that good boy look at that good boy oh are we gonna try it for you oh crazy boy Is that good? Would you like some more? And the way that you know... <laughs> the way that you know that you should stop feeding them at a certain point, that belly right there will get, like, somewhat plump. So all those little... Here, take that. All those little, like, flaps that they have on the sides will basically disappear and that's how you know that they have a full belly because they can expand their belly and expand their their sides to take in what they need to i would say huh you might be almost a foot i haven't measured blue but I've also had him since he was probably about from there to, hey, I'm trying to show people. Get distracted with this awesome big one too. Oh, are you swallowing your foots? Here, come here. Okay, so I'd say he was probably from, from head to probably about here. He was a little dude when I got him and now he's growing like crazy. Hi, Bubbush. Also, another trick for any monitor species is burying their food, like live animals or live insects, all over their enclosure. So they have to dig them up. So I like, could put superworms in there, mealworms in there, roaches, crickets, and kind of let them like dig them up, find them. I'll put earthworms sometimes, but earthworms are more of a laxative. So if you give a any if you give any animal besides an amphibian or a turtle worms, you'll see like a very mushy, poopy kind of stuff. It'll be like a little splatter of lake poop. You want more food? Let's see.
But the other thing I was going to tell you guys, in the wild, their uh, content, when they find deceased savannah monitors, it's usually a mixture of millipedes, beetles, um, what was the other one? These, like, monster-sized crickets, some grasshoppers, and then they'll find, like, small amounts of, like, gecko in their gut content. But the one thing they never find in any savannah monitor's gut content, in the years of finding deceased savannah monitors, they have never found a mouse or a rat in their gut content. And that is because they do not predate on rodents. So when you feed them bulk size rodents for a long period of time, all you're doing is basically killing them because their livers aren't meant to digest rodents. What are you doing? Are you helping yourself digest? And basically, oh, oh, you're digesting your foods, you're getting it down, right? Basically, that's how uh, savannah monitors and a few other monitors will get fatty liver disease just from feeding nothing but rodents nonstop. So if you ever get a savannah monitor, highly, 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 highly recommend not feeding them any rodents. <coughs> insects, they can eat. I mean, my female is three foot. <coughs> and she eats nothing but insects and eggs. And then occasionally I'll give her some shrimp. Or some tilapia. That's it on the that's like once a month, maybe once or twice a month. I say like once a month or every two to three months. But everything else is just insects. But I hope you guys enjoy this little fun fact spreadsheet of knowledge that I had coming out of my brain. So if you enjoyed that, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit like. On the video, <clears throat> comment something down below that you might have learned or something that you know about Savannah Monitors that I don't. Also, if you feel like you learned something, share this video with your friends, your family, your coworker, your dog, whoever. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week, your day, your year. Happy 2023. Thank you to the... Why did you throw dirt? Thank you to the 147 subscribers. I think 147. Yeah, 147 subscribers. Your guys' support supports me. Motivates me to make more videos for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And now... We... Are... Gone. Bye. Hold up.